Hello, welcome to your Timeless Tarot reading. It doesn't matter when you have clicked on this video. It obviously is the time that it resonates for you. So uh, no worries about if it's meant for this month or this year even. This is the time for you to listen to your reading. I call this a general reading, so it could re be in regards to love, career, uh, whatever situations come up, we let the cards just tell the story and give us some advice and guidance on how to deal with those situations. So, I've already pre-shuffled many times, but I will go ahead and do a quick cut. While I'm cutting, I'd like to thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, and I love doing these readings. This deck right here, I've had for over 20 years. And the first 10 years, I gave myself a reading every day with that deck. So I'm very connected with these cards. I don't do any type of readings for anyone public or private readings um, if I am not familiar with the decks and have not done many on myself. So uh, I always work with them a lot before I start uh, using that energy to uh, talk with other people. So just a preference of mine, everyone's different. Some people can just go buy their deck right off the shelf and bring it home and give someone else a reading and um, everybody's different. So I'm just gonna do these, cut these up nice here. This is a fun tarot deck here. Everybody's so unique and talented and creative in their own way. Brings so much joy. So, excellent. So we have some crystal decks here. We have a uh, Spirit Song Tarot. We have, um, I can't remember the name of this tarot. This is a fairy deck and this is an animal spirit deck. So uh, lots of variances here. And let's just see what the cards have to say for our general reading today. What messages do the cards have to say for us? What would you like us to know today? Thank you. So we've got dog. Well, hello dog. Uh, <laughs> um, dog is coming up in almost every single one of my last 10 readings. So um, I, ha I shuffled these deck, this deck probably 20 times. Um, well, you saw me, I just cut the deck. <laughs> um, say hello to Karma, this is my dog. And I guess what I am, it's not literally her, but I know it's her that's coming through in all these readings, this is just so crazy, I can't even, I don't even know if I'm going to post this video because it's just so crazy. I just don't even know what to do. So this is all about loyalty and everyone can take, there's, um, this came up in a personal reading I gave uh, just the other day and um, which is included in the last 10 readings that I've had. So um, I know what this reading will mean for me. You need to find what this uh, card represents for you. And since it's so powerful and I can't keep saying it's my dog coming through. <laughs> so here is what we're going to do with this because, um, you know, there's, I think, 50 cards in that deck. And with this coming up in the last 10 readings, and obviously it's not... A stacked deck it's just you know I got the cards right in front of me so um, I think what we need to do is just say because uh, this is how it was very much resonated in the personal reading I gave so let's just go forward with this and keep moving and if you're a subscriber and you've been watching all the readings and I this is the way it works so <laughs> 
<laughs> it's kind of cool. It's kind of magical. And hey, I don't know. I There's nothing I can do to convince you guys. So if you don't believe it, and you know, swipe left, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. So anyway, so we have the loyalty. Dog is all about loyalty, represents loyalty. No matter how beaten down you've been, the dog is always going to be loyal to you and uh, show that companionship and um, and trust that you can have in in that in in this uh, the animal spirit is really so uh, powerful when it's dog because it resonates with uh, so many humans you know rather than uh, armadillo you know not many of us have you know, actually had a conversation with an armadillo. So, um, in that way, it's a little harder, but we, a lot of us can really relate to this. And maybe that's why, you know, spirit's bringing this out because, you know, we can relate to a dog spirit, but you know, this can be, this can be in the form of a relationship, employment, you're loyal to your employer, you're loyal to your lover. Um, it's just the overall energy of the reading. So let's keep moving forward because, you know, the cards have a lot to say to us today. So stand your ground. Okay, stand your ground. So I am getting the feeling a lot of this is um, you're, you're going to be loyal no matter what. And you don't have plans on going anywhere, but you definitely are going to have to set some boundaries and... Um, uh, stick to your guns and stand your ground almost like um, you know with the loyalty with the dog too like I just said earlier it's like they they'll keep coming to their master even when they're you know beaten every day they'll keep doing it I mean some will turn and that's usually when they stand their ground so I'm not saying that on a negative point I'm just trying to illustrate you know the loyalty aspect of it so um, Creative expression. Well, hello, all you artists, writers, playwriters, uh, musicians, painters, oh, potters, ceramic. Oh, I saw the most beautiful piece of pottery recently. So, okay, so, all right. I'm going to just uh, let this sit for a second. We're going to get some more energy going here so I can get an idea. We've got the rose quartz right on top, which is all about unconditional love, romantic love, um, trust, all about harmony. Um, by drawing this card signifies that love will soon enter your life, either as a romantic gift or in a way that will help you heal past wounds and move on. So, but I also believe that this is just about an unconditional love for something. Um, I find that this comes up a lot in my um, artistic readings because you have to have that, to be an artist, you pretty much have to have that unconditional love because it can be so frustrating. Um, you know, the ups and downs of being an artist because there's so much passion and love that goes into a, an art project and um, especially during these times right now you know the chances of it sitting longer or, or something where you had plans for it and now it's not coming to pass you're you still hold that space of the love and the passion for it so it'll move when it's time to move you know it'll it'll be in the right hands when it's time to be in the right hands and um, so let's just keep moving. I'm going to um, hold off on some interpretations and a few clear chords. Awesome. I'm going to actually go grab these because I have both of these um, um, crystals. So let's just, uh, but this is all about amplification. Uh, things are just about to take, it's kind of like the, you know, the thing like this and then it's like the big wave, like, yeah, there it is. The big the big mirror, the big um, uh, conductor, 
of everything. I love, I'm feeling all this uh, crystal energy coming through. So I'm gonna really, I even got one right here just to have next to me was a clear quartz. But I, I am gonna go grab those in a second. But um, then we got the Zugalite, which seems to come up a lot in the reading. So it's all about um, the initiating, um, spontaneity. Um, it's a rare, uh, crystal so it's almost like um, yes I'm definitely I'm definitely feeling the um, all the creative energy in this so much um, it's <laughs> there's a big big something big on the horizon I can feel it something a big that somebody or some a uh, group, maybe a group because it's dog energy and they're all about pack, uh, pack mentality. So maybe some kind of group collaboration. But this this project is definitely, I don't know if it's a project or a loved one or something. Some, the spontaneous energy that comes through is almost like a, a washing over like that big tidal wave I just talked about with the amplification. It's like a, a clearing, a cleansing of it. It's like that big tidal wave, the amplification comes up and then the card here says uh, cleansing. It's like how that tidal wave just kind of washes it all into the new. Oh, this is fun. This is exciting. There's some kind of new energy. Hold on just a quick second. I'm gonna go grab some rose quartz, some regular quartz. Oh, that'll be fun. I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling all that crystal energy amplification. It's about the, yeah, I've got a few here. We'll just do these because I'm on a smaller table. This is, this is good. I love it how the, all this beautiful energy. I'll put them back here because I'm going to probably pick the cards up again if I need to feel the need to read and stuff. But let's just like hover it around here. You see all that? Can you see that beautiful? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Rose quartz. Oh, if you don't have a crystal, please just go buy one. Just... Go on uh, spiritualmall.com. That's where I get my organite. So just start with a with an organ piece, which is great for the balancing energy. And just it's it's in uh, like a it's crystals within plastic. So some people don't feel they're like, oh, it's so fragile. I don't want to break it. I mean. I take these things everywhere and I have, you know, I've had some amber that is broke and stuff, but whatever, it is what it is. But um, lots of crystals around. There's all kinds of really cool crystal companies. I go to quartzite. So anyway, we got all our crystal energy going here. I feel the cleansing, the spontaneity. We're going to pull up one of the, another one. Chrysoprase. That's excellent. Fearless movement. This is all about moving forward. So this is a, a big, something, something, it's more a, not a big project, but more something that, a collaboration where you want it to go more in your direction and your, um, and your, cre with your creative ex uh, feelings. So it seems like we're just going to have, like this whole love unity thing going and um, everybody will get on the same page once you're strong about that. But we'll get a, a clarifying card for that one. So no worries here. This is, I'm, this is fun. I'm having a good time with this one. Silver, it's all about the lunar path and the moon. Lots of uh, female divine feminine energy right here. Um, lots of female... Uh, the moon lit path and clarity and this is about cleansing this is about clarity so and we might have to look up the chrysoprase because i feel like that's more of a um uh 
uh, more of an aggressive type of energy. So I'm going to probably grab that here in just a second and do a quick look up. But let's, um, let's grab a couple tarot too and see. This is fun, especially if it's like a fun group, um, group project because, um, you're pretty adamant about something. You're pretty straightforward in, and look, even this looks just like her wand here that has the crystal wand at the top here. It's like, it's all about, yes, definitely, I, I know exactly what it is that I want and uh, the worth and my worth in this. So, and if it's a relationship, it's the loyalty and your... Um, you know, you're very loyal to this person and you love this person very, very much and have a lot of unconditional love, but there's something that you'll need to stand your ground on because, um, kind of like that scenario I gave you earlier. I mean, there is going to be a point where there's going to be a, a turning point, but then that's when, you know, if that, if, if the dog it attacks the owner do out of all that, um, being beaten so many times you know that the spirit is gone in the dog so don't if this is a relationship and it's about love and you're just not standing up for yourself don't um don't let it get to that point because that's when it, it the you you lose your your spirit in you and um or you can and you know you know the dog that's loyalty you know it must be bad if they get to that point so so don't don't do that whether that be a relationship or an employer you know if you're an employer and you want you want to start expressing more of your creative expression with your employer and and they're saying no it has to be by this rules and this and you're at the point where, you know what? No, I, I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to express more of my creative side. And um, I always relate this one also to hairdressers because she's always, she's touching her beautiful curly hair. So I always think of hairdressers during this time too. So if that's you, um, definitely take that to heart, please. And know that you're in my thoughts as well. And it's not just strictly artists. And I'm sorry I missed you if you're in the fashion industry or something. I uh, would like to include you as well. <laughs> let's pull a tarot here and let's see. So we've got the Fool in reverse. So which is the Traveler with this card. It's really pretty. Whoops. The shadow there and the Traveler. But it's in reverse. So... Really, uh, this is about a creative, new, spontaneous adventure. Um, with it being in reverse, there's just a slight, uh, slight hesitation, which would be you need a little more um, enlightenment as far as uh, what path to go, which is probably why the silver energy is in there. When you have the moon lighting your path, the lunar path is what this card is called, uh, it's pretty clear when that moonlit path you you know all you can really see is where you're going so if we've got this uh, adventure you know the fool card in reverse it's uh, you're still on that adventurous pa path and have all this major potential you just have to get more clear about it which I'm, and it might be fear because we have the fearless movement, chrysoprase here. So it might be there's some kind of fear because of some project. We'll get a clarifying card on that one. So let's see what the other one is. Six of shells. So that's sentiment and joy. Lots of, uh, lots of happiness here, you know, real, um, Fun, light. I don't know if you can feel it, but it's real. Maybe that's why I'm so excited because it's just some of them have just been really heavy lately. But this is very loving and light and full of joy and um, just things are things are going well. And there's two seals there, so I'm getting a lot of love. 
a devotion type feeling from this. So, um, and we'll look that up in the book. In fact, let's look that up right now in case any of you are wondering how that one relates to you. I love that deck. It's so pretty. The artwork is just so pretty. Six of shells. Otter. Those are otters. Sentiment and joy. Otter swims in the simplicity of innocent joy to soothe her soul, moving with the flow with childlike energy. She'll show you how to navigate with lightheartedness and happiness. Yes, that's just what I was feeling here. It's really, I love it. Others draw upon the beauty of sentimentality to fuel her energy. She knows that fond memories of the past can regenerate the emotional self and will influence insight to enhance the future. Reconnect with your roots and be in the beloved place of sanctuary and comfort. Past efforts will prove rewarding and good memories revisited serve to add strength to fresh creative projects. Allow the emergence of positive new beginnings to permeate your life. And the key words are joy, innocence, sharing, reunion. So this is, uh, I love it. Let's find out. Um, so as you heard straight from the book and the interpretation of just this card with this artist it's all about a wonderful creative project, undergoing a project and having that creative expression. That's great. I'm excited for you guys. Wow. I wonder what it is. Leave me a note if you like know what, oh yeah, I'm working on this book or something. Cause I just, it, I just love hearing about that. So the reversed of the uh, traveler right here, the full card in reverse, I wanted to give you the not traditional tarot uh, interpretation, but the artist's actual interpretation if it comes in the reverse. Examine what is directly ahead of you and review steps taken before making the next move. When responsibilities are dealt with, you can safely move onward. And the key words are uh, irresponsibility, lack of judgment, recklessness. Okay, so, and with this fearless move, fearless movement there is some hesitation here so maybe it's good to have some hesitation but realize uh don't hesitate out of fear hesitate if there's any hesitation it needs to be because you're not uh clear on it yet so you've got to you've got to um, get a lot more clear about it before you start moving forward because as you can tell it's lighthearted and happy here this isn't about hard work so if it starts to become really hard work and uh, it, it becomes all jumbled up here, which is where I see it's getting really clogged right in this area, is that uh, chances are that you need more direction and need to outline the project in a, a more way. And, you know, don't be foolish about it. This is the fool card. Um, I know I'm an Aries and this is my card. So... Uh, it's, you know, when I get this, it's definitely means hold on, slow down. You are so fast moving that now this is for an Aries and I always, you know, take the first reading of the day now as my reading. So this is my reading as well. And as I'm taking this as an Aries with the full card in reverse like this, it is You've got all this love. I, I have all this love and exciting, creative uh, energy going on here. And I'm going to get a little too in my head here. And I'm going to hold off and I'm going to think I'm scared of something. But really what I'm scared of is I don't have the next few steps. And because I don't have the next few steps, I need to just hold on and figure it out because... It, now, if there was a different card here saying I had to work, it's going to take hard work, like a Pentacles, you know, a Pentacles card or something like that, then I would say, yeah, we, you know, I need to uh, 
you know, hunker down and stuff, but this is all in that type of energy. So I hope that makes sense to you, but let's grab another tarot from this one and the justice card. Okay. All right. This is, this is great. This is just fantastic. <laughs> it's like, uh, Yes, see, and it's so perfectly balanced. So I'm, uh, oh, so for those of you, the justice card, this is everything that the whole plan of action, you stood your ground and you remained loyal. You stood your ground, you kept the unconditional love and you got that clarifying energy. You, you got more direct on your path of what you were gonna do. Um, you, you moved, once you found that path and you moved forward fearlessly, uh, you stopped to just look at the next couple of steps instead of the big whole picture. You, you become in a, a very, in, uh, lighthearted energy full of joy and happiness. It's just, everything's going fantastic and dun, dun, da, da. There you go. It's like everything that, uh, the rewards paid off for everything. The patience, the love, the, uh, the clarity, getting all this clarity. Look at all this clarity here that you needed. The moon energy, everything like that, you know? So let me just take a quick look here. Let's see here. Yes. Yes. So I feel like it's a little bit maybe um, on the business level, like uh, with employment, if we go back to this employment situation, if it's an employer, you definitely, because you stood your ground, you definitely, and you didn't get all attitude about it. You kept a lighthearted, um, loving energy about you with this employer and you stood your ground and uh, kept moving forward with the what you were doing with the at your employer at work, and you came out uh, righteous in the end. And it's, it, you know, it's it's not like this. <laughs> I mean, it was worth it. So that's that is this is one timeline. So you know, we all have the possibility to create our own timelines and pick our own timelines. This is one of many, many, many multiple universe timelines that is a possibility for you. And if this looks good for you and you can, you can go through each one of these steps in a way that is transforming to be able to manifest what you want and keep this energy then you can have what you want. Like if it would have been like this, then you would have known what to do to change things if you wanted to continue on this timeline. And if I were you, and I know I am definitely taking this uh, reading to heart and I'm loving it and it's very exciting for me and on many personal levels as well. And um, I, um, I'm definitely gonna choose this for my timeline. So. You know, you can, if it resonates, wonderful, and you choose it. If it doesn't, there's so many times things don't resonate. And, you know, there's nothing to be upset or angry about. It was just something that wasn't showing you a timeline that resonates with you and something that you wanted at this point. So, um, let's get, gosh, you know what? I was going to do a clarifier for the, for this card and the stand your ground, but it, I really feel that this is very clear and uh, I'll go ahead and do a short, quick, uh, separate video of two other cards that will clarify the stand the ground and fearless movement. If it's something that somebody's just like, no, I need more information on that. I'll go ahead and just record that and keep that to myself. You're welcome to send me an email and ask me about it if it's something that, um, you feel like you needed more uh, clarity on. Um, I, I really feel like this is a good point to stop the reading. It, it's a beautiful energy and I'm loving it. And 
this might bring up something a little deeper that somebody might want to go into and I'm more than happy to do that. So I'll go ahead and set these two aside if you want the fearless movement crystal card and the stand your ground want some clarity on that I'll pull a couple additional cards I'll keep the video for a little bit um, and um, if you want to just send me an email and say hey do you have that video and I can go ahead and link it up on a private YouTube for you okay I really appreciate you I hope you enjoyed your reading I'm very excited about your project if you want to share it with me, I would love to hear it because it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It sounds like you might involve the pack, you know, and hey, let's all say hello to Karma there. My sweet loving baby dog that passed just a couple months ago. She's with me all the time and what an amazing creature she is. Thanks, Karma. Oh, yes, her name's Karma, by the way. <laughs> but, it, you know, if that doesn't resonate with you, please, this, this card has so much beautiful energy with it. Take, take what goes with you. And uh, have a fantastic day, and peace out. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.